Hey guys, so today I'm here with an application review on a really simple yet very effective application called Simple Drive. Uh, so Simple Drive, as the name suggests, is a very simple way to go ahead and get files. So if you have like documents, you have images, whatever it is, you can go ahead and take it from your computer, put it onto your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad, and go ahead and offload it at a later date. So basically, it does turn your device into basically what's you know a flash drive that you is just a wireless flash drive. Um, so I've used it for a little while. I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys a tour. So it's really simple. All you gotta do is just open it up, give it just one second to load, and then you actually will see. There we go. So you'll see that the interface is extremely simple. It's very clean, um, and I like it a lot because well, there really, there really is not a whole lot to it. Um, so up top, you'll see the IP address, which I'll explain that in just a second. Um, and you'll see right down here, which is actually kind of a nice thing. You'll say how much space you have on your device. So, for example, on my iPod, I have five gig, five and a half gigabytes of space left, you know, to fill up with files or whatever. Now all I have to do is hit start. So as soon as I hit start, there we go. So as you can see up top, it gives me an IP address. Now all I have to do to access files to put them either on my iPod or take them off, all I have to do is put that IP address in my web browser. Now, one thing I will mention, though, is that you do need to have your device as well as your computer on the same network, okay? So as long as they're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you should be good to go. At any rate, all you have to do is go ahead and punch in the IP address in your browser. So once you punch it in and give it just a second to load, you'll see it's a very simple interface. Uh, so as you can see here, it actually doesn't work 100% perfectly in Opera, but to be honest, it's not a big deal. The buttons are just a little bit sideways, but like I said, not a big deal. It would still work 100% fine. So as you can see here, I do have just one file on my iPod right now. So if I want to go ahead and click on it, there we go. So as you can see here, this is the image I have, which I know it's a very small image, but it's just a test. You know, obviously it could be as big or small as you like. Uh, now you can also go ahead and delete them. So you know, it's not like it's just on there forever. You can go ahead and delete them and clean it up whenever you're done with it. So let's go ahead and just upload something to my iPod. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this logo and I'm go ahead and hit upload. So give it just a second, and there we go. So now as you can see here, there's a second image, and if I click on that. I can see I can go ahead and see the logo. So guys, it's a very simple application. It works really well. And to be honest, I think it's really, really handy. Um, so guys, if you're interested, it is available in the iTunes App Store for 99 cents. And you can go ahead and check out the description. I do have a link where it'll just send you straight there. Um, in addition to that, guys, I also do have a single promo code of this application. So if you're interested in winning the promo code, just post a comment below. Just say simple drive dash your comment. And here in a couple days, I will go ahead and go through randomly, pick a winner, and send you guys the promo code. So go ahead and try this out, app out for free. I definitely would like to give a big thanks to Tat Touch Click, the developer of this application, for giving me a free copy to review as well as a copy to go ahead and give to you guys. So definitely go ahead and check out if you're interested. Check out all of those links in the description. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.